Let's see how we get on there. Right, well, we're just on the final throws of the multi-panel run. 29 or 30 boards, I can't remember now. So I'm just placing the uh, manually placed components. That's the um, buttons, the electrolytic caps, the coil, and the crystal. because for one reason or another they don't fit on my machine it's Sunday almost midday two minutes to 12 
So I hope I can get this all finished by one o'clock. Not finished as in made, but finished as in the basic PCB assembly and soldering done. And then tomorrow my daughter will finish them off and we can test them and stick them in the um, in the uh, anti-static bags. Looks good. Boards take, I think I've said, mentioned this before, they take about just over four minutes on the machine. I think there's about 130 components to place on these boards. It's the uh, most components of any board that we do. It beats the root processor by 24 resistors. So when the last board comes off, we should be good to go. How's it looking? Ah, I'll spin it round, let you have a look. See if I can get the screen on as well. There you go, you can see what the uh, screen is analyzing. Now the rear feed has been giving me a bit of stick today. Front feed is okay, side feed is okay. So I'll just, Give it a bit of a tug on these as necessary. It's okay, and it was this one. Yeah, it's good. I think we're okay now. I can turn the compressor off now. There's only two components to go. That's the CPU and the voltage regulator. And then we're done. Woohoo! Three hour session making these. That's it, and we're done for the day. Okay, that's the last board from this batch. Everything looks good, everything looks lined up. Resistors look good. Stick the buttons on. Crystal. 330 electrolytic capacitor, 680 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and the 33 microhenry coil. And there we are, another love and load. How's that doing? I'll just have a look. 131 degrees, that'll take about five minutes to cool down. Here's the batch so far. These have all been through the oven and inspected. We put them on these because they're anti-static trays. Here you, you can have a look at one. See if I can get it to focus. So that's the board as soldered. Ready for hand finishing. Please tell me I left the camera on autofocus. I think I did. Can't see without my glasses. We're also making up some power distribution boards before. These are great. You think, oh, I don't need that. They're actually very useful. The 12 volt regulated power supply plugs in there, then you get five sets of power terminals. Simple, effective, we sell a lot. Been a busy weekend, been doing some mimic panel quotes and other large quotes as well. And uh, they take time, they take like an hour each, so I'm um, quite selective. And when we've got a lot of panels on the go, um, I tend to hold off on the quotes a bit because I want it to be that if somebody says yes, then I'm in a position to make it at the time I said I could make it. Um, so if I'm busy, I'll hold them up.
Well, we're just in the throes of making some servo controllers. Quick batch. We had another run on servo controllers and they uh, seem to have sold faster than usual. Nice problem to have. So we're just making some more. So I'll just put the components on that the machine doesn't place. I think I, I had 200 PCBs for servo controllers and they've lasted maybe six weeks. So I'm gonna shoot down after and get some more PCBs ordered. Order a thousand this time. Not a problem though, because I'll get them in just over a week. My uh, PCB supplier are usually very good. But when you're ordering high volume, it takes, you can't get them on the 24 hour process. You get them on the three day process. But that's better because they're not um, printing over, they silk screen it properly, so it's a better job for the, uh, the white text on the top of the board. Let's have another one in. Check everything's in alignment. Yesterday we finished, programmed and tested all the multi-panels. So they're all now bagged up, ready to go. Basically just been pulled all over the place again. Also, I just caught up on my uh, Mimic panel backlog. And as of yesterday, we've taken orders for four panels. So I'm gonna be busy with the panels over the next few days. I've also been upgrading the uh, laser cutter. I fitted uh, an extraction pump for the wood. So instead of filtering it, uh, we'll just extract the wood, filter the plastic. Um, I worked the cost of the filter out to be about 35 pounds a week. So I'll save 35 pounds a week there. Quite expensive, really. Dodgy feeder, I'm having fun on the uh, rectifiers, don't know why. And now it's just got the CPU and the voltage regulator to fit. I just fitted a reel of 1K resistors as well so uh, I'm coming to the end shortly of the thousand reels of 1k instead of the tet of the 5k or sorry 5,000 reel quantities so we'll get some of those ordered as well today gonna be busy ordering stuff this afternoon we had a run on servos as well recently and I'm down to my last bin full but I've been informed by the uh, shipping company that the replacements are in this country now so I expect to have those in a few days there was an LED there trying to escape Is that right that on the vault on the oh, nope. what's happening here mm. it's an LED problem it's misaligned again I'm not trouble with that feeders bane of my life it's not about the head for placement it's about the feeder your feeders are good everyone's happy mm -hmm. Keep having to duck and dive the head, cleaning things. 
moving things, adjusting things, keep the uh, machine running. The machine hasn't bit me yet, but I'm sure it'll be a first time. Didn't like that CPU, don't know why. And we're done. And that's uh, two minutes, seven seconds. For a servo controller. That's what it looks like out of the machine. And then I'll put the final components on. So that's almost ready for soldering. Four buttons on two, three, four. A 330 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a 680 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and a 33 microhenry coil for the power supply. Uh, my oven's at 99 degrees, so it's coming down. When it hits 60, I can open the lid. Oh, misfeed there. Didn't like that. And have another go. Yeah. Can't leave it alone for a minute. I've just got this tray of nine plus those two, 11 to do. And that'll give us a batch of 25 to complement the stock I've got in the bins downstairs. Keep the uh, Gravity feeder full. Right, processor. And then it should go for that voltage regulator next. You can see it here, I think. Can you? Can't see that far back. And we're done. I'll, uh, I'll move the camera up and you can have a look at the machine again running. just as soon as I've done this one. Yeah, looking good. Button one. Button two. Button three. Button four. Placing the buttons isn't the problem. It's when I put them in the oven, I tend to knock them. I'm not careful and that's that's where they move. So I have to be mindful of that. Doesn't take much to uh, displace a button and then you run it through the oven and it's soldered in the wrong place. Not good. Okay, let's move the camera. Near the pick and place machine. Oh, which has just failed. On an LED again, yay. Have another go. Hang on, what's my There, look, there's Nancy on the camera. It's my big helper for the workshop. Say, hi. Hi. Say, I love my pa. I love Oh, come here and say it. Come Nancy's on. Nancy's pa too. Nancy's pa too. Okay, board out, board in. Pull that up, make sure everything's aligned. Do the fiducial alignment and go.
keeping the tension on the feeder for the uh, LEDs. Vacuum um, tube feed. feet and you can see here the vision good happy with those CPU and then finish with the voltage rag And that was done in 1 minute 38, 40, 1 minute 40. So now we're down to our last eight boards. See if I can keep them going. interesting so it's dropped the nozzle <laughs> there it is so I'll put the nozzle well what I'll do okay, so we're on part number 10 so I'll say no and place the nozzle back in and we'll resume from part number 10 so if I select the part I can do start mounting here or not. No, it can't do the fiducials. Uh, what's changed in two seconds? Wipe. Part number 10, start mounting here. And now the tape the LED has snapped so we'll have to fix that in a minute uh, 
and now it's just going to do the voltage rate and then we're going back to fix the tape so what we've got here is this tape snapped on this feeder which is the LEDs so what I'm going to do is just pull that through wasting about a million LEDs as I go and feeding that through here they need a visual inspection Lou, those boards before you sold them but if they pass you they're ready feed it through here maybe you can see it on camera maybe you can't and just a bit too short let's pull a bit more there we go they snap sometimes I don't know why it's all part of this crappy feeder setup that I've mentioned before now I've got a spare one because it jumped on the board so I'll place that by hand and then I'll put another board on pull that taut pull that taut Check nothing's going to jam. There's a spare LED there that will gum the works up. Get that off. Oh, still there. And it just gums it up and stops it feeding. No good, really. Right, let's try that. What could possibly go wrong? And just like that. We've got another feeder error. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, power cycle the machine, turn it back on. And then what we do is kill the software. This happens when um, you get a head crash. If I restart it, oops. So connect, and that will reinitialize the machine, we'll put this back in. load up a board, open cam, and that's 112, start, see if it crashes the head again, this time. Head crashes are rare, about one a month. LED on this one that's jumped. That off. Can work around the machine so it doesn't eat me. And the voltage regulator. Yeah. All oh, right. It took a while. I've got six boards to go. What's happened there? Let's put the rectifier somewhere else.
good. Tube feeder. Give that a helping hand. This is more typical of how we work when the camera isn't running. Hands on, hands in, keep the thing going, keep the oven cooking, basically keep all the wheels spinning. And if you do that, you can get through it much faster. Right, you probably had enough pick and place action for now on this video. So I'll see you a little further down the road.